Oh, we're breaking all the rules today, man. Breaking the rules? Yeah, we're breaking all the rules. What's the rules? Well, we generally don't travel longer than three hours oh, yeah. in a day. True. Breaking that rule. We generally don't go over 300 miles in a, in a day. Yeah. Breaking that rule. Yeah. Generally don't arrive after 3 p.m. Oh, we're breaking that rule. Breaking that rule. <laughs> and the reason that we're breaking all those rules is because we're doing something we've never done before. Yeah, well, because we have to. Well, we didn't have to. I guess we could have drove all the way through, but that wasn't comfortable. Because no. we're going, we're right now we are at uh, Harbor View Thousand Trails, which is in Virginia. Yeah, Colonial Beach. And we're headed up to Kennessee Lakes Thousand Trails, which is in Ohio, like tip top of Ohio. Yeah. And that's a long ways. And we looked for something that was halfway between, and there's really not much. No. I mean, not even there was no of... Harvest Hosts. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of campgrounds, but they were kind of way off the beaten path. You had, I had to go like a half yeah. hour off the interstate to get to them. Yeah, that's true. So, staying at the Walmarts. Yeah. <laughs> for the very first time ever. Where's the Been on the road for five years, and we've never stayed at a Walmart. Nope. But now that we have our setup, our solar and lithium yep. setup, by Big Beard Battery, by the way, um, we can stay overnight. Yeah. I was just on the roof and I was sweeping off and those solar panels are pretty dirty. Yeah. I, I just got our collapsible bucket so I can go up there and clean them. But we're only staying one night. So I don't even know that we'll need the solar to recharge. The battery should last us overnight. I yeah, mean, we're not going to be running air conditioners overnight or anything like that. It's pretty comfortable out. Yeah. Um, so the Walmart that we're staying at is convenient. Mm -hmm. We researched it. We went on our, our, our Park Advisor app. Yeah. And looked at some of the reviews of people who have stayed there. Because uh -huh. you can do that on the app, which is really yeah. cool. So they review stuff like campgrounds and Cracker Barrels and Walmarts. And Everybody kinda, loves this Walmart. Yeah, we, we researched a couple. <laughs> there's two Walmarts in Morgantown. The other one didn't wasn't that great. No. But this one was better. Yeah. So we figured, hey, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. And you can even see in the satellite imagery, you can see where like 18 wheelers are parked. Mm -hmm. So you can see that there's room to park. And if they were parked there, then you're allowed to park, park there. there. And Park Advisor tries to not put the places on there that don't oh. allow you to park yeah. there overnight. So uh, we'll try it out for the for the very first time ever. It's supposed to be raining when we get there. Yeah. That's which not is not the cool. funnest. No. But we got to do some grocery shopping, so it'll be convenient. Mm -hmm. We'll go into Walmart and do some shopping. There's a Denny's right there in the parking lot. There's a gas station right there in the parking lot. But unfortunately, it's not an open roads stop. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and it's not a truck yeah. stop. So we'll have to detach and go gas up and then, and then hook back up. But yeah. no big deal. Should be quite the adventure today. Should. Well, this has been a nice park to stay at. But, I don't know if you can hear this bird. Hang on a second. Listen for him. You hear him? Yeah. That joker is up at 5.30 every morning. And it wakes us up. So, for that reason, kind of glad to be getting out of here today. So, we've been here for a week. And he's been waking us up at 5.30 every morning. And he don't stop. It's like a mating call, but like, bro. Like, she's not coming, man. She's not going to show up. You've been yelling all day. Give it up. Well, we're at our fuel stop now in uh, Hagerstown, Maryland. We haven't hit the rain yet. It was supposed to take us about 2 hours and 50 minutes to get here. It was about 3 hours and 15 minutes. So we lost about 25 minutes in the D.C. area. Um, we're at a, I think it's a Sheets, but um, we're using our open roads card today. And if you don't have one of these, you should get one. It doesn't cost anything, it's absolutely free. And it saves you on diesel, especially when you are hooked up to your rig, because the truck lanes on the highway kind of forces truckers to go to these big truck stops and they jack up the fuel prices. And this card, just kind of brings it back down to what a normal diesel price would be. And uh, so right here it's $399 and I think it's like $379 or $369 or something like that on the Open Roads app. So it definitely helps a lot when you have to use the truck lanes. And now I'm going to go in, go to the bathroom, 
get a snack. Well, I figured I'd put Leslie in the box this time. I'm always in the box. I put Leslie in the box. But I wanted to finish telling you about this Open Roads uh, program. Okay. So it attaches to your bank account, and there's really nothing you have to do. You just have to find on the Open Roads app the stations that, that accept it. Yeah. And then that's where you go. And it comes okay. right out of your bank account, and it saves you, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40 cents sometimes. It's sometimes even, even more than that. Yeah. And then the next day, you'll get an invoice in your email. And it'll yeah. let you know how much you spent, how much it was charging at the station, how much you paid, and then how much you saved overall. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool, and you can use it for like tax write-offs and stuff like that if you're traveling for business like we are sure. yeah. for YouTube. So we got about, what, two hours left to go? Yes. We haven't hit the rain yet, so hopefully we won't. Fingers crossed. And uh, get, our, get our Walmart on. <laughs> oh man, what a day. We're at the Walmarts in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. We're gonna probably go over to the Denny's and eat later. This is our, our spot, we're off to the side. Our living side is over here. It's gonna be uh, loud tonight because the highway is right there, but it's easy access to get back on tomorrow. Um, we are off to the side. Um, there's a couple other trucks here. Another camper way over on the other side. I'd like to be facing out, but I didn't want our living side to be on this side. So tomorrow morning, we can just kind of spin around. Some of these cars will probably be gone. We can just spin it around and head back out and hit the highway and head back out. Um, it, there is a sign here. There is a sign that says no overnight parking for tractor trailers. And it doesn't specifically say RVs, but I am a little scared that we're gonna get like a knock at like you know midnight one o'clock and they say hey you gotta get out of here and then and then what do we do? So we have all of the shades down. Except these I'll I'll put those down. This slide is still in, we're gonna keep that in because that's on the side where the traffic is coming. Scout's up in his habitat. He's like, what in the hell is going on here? We are on a little bit of a slope. Um, we did detach the truck and went and gassed up and then rehooked it back up. Yeah. Um, our bedroom slide is on that side too, but we won't pull that out until it's bedtime. Yes. Everybody's gone. And the Walmart closes at 11. We usually stay up past that anyway. Yeah. And we won't take it out all the way. We'll just take it out just enough for us to get through there. We'll sleep in there in the morning. We'll get out of there. We'll close it back up. Yeah. And uh, we'll bring the stairs in. Close all the shades. We don't really want anybody thinking that we are staying, staying here overnight. Uh, we want them to think maybe that we just parked here to go inside the Walmart or get something to eat. Or we are going grocery shop. We are going to go over there and grocery <laughs> shop. And we're going to go get something to eat. So we're doing all those things. Uh, but we just don't want anybody to kick us out. Because... Yeah there is no backup plan no there's no rv park around here so you'd have to go find a actual rest stop yeah good luck <laughs> in the middle of the night so yeah it is a little sketch um we probably won't do this again it's not our thing no i'm already feeling anxious because yeah. i don't want to get kicked out yeah, and we don't have a backup plan and if we get kicked out at midnight, we got nowhere to go. I guess you just drive to the Thousand Trails in Ohio. You just wait for them <laughs> there to will be open rest up. Stops before that. Yeah, I don't know, man. It'll be fine. I just don't want it to. Don't want that to happen. Well, I don't either, because then I have to take Scout out in the middle of the night because he yeah. can't ride in there. So. Might have just left him in his carrier, but I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go grab some food. And, and then we'll do some grocery shopping. Okay. We'll come back. Okay. All right. We put about 10 gallons of water in the fresh tank. Because we're not going to do showers tonight. But no. just enough for flushing toilets, washing hands, stuff yeah. like that. Um, because we're in the Walmart parking lot, I will... Um, I'll probably keep my protection device a little more readily accessible. <laughs> I can't say the G word. On uh, YouTube because they will randomly just unsubscribe people from the channel if you talk about things like that So I'll just call it my protection device. I'm gonna keep that uh, normally I keep it it locked in a safe It's 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 quickly available on most days, yeah. but it's gonna be even more e Easily accessible tonight. 
You gotta snuggle it. Tonight. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. We just called an audible. We're we're not gonna go to the Denny's. There's a Mexican grill over here. So we're gonna go over there and hey man, Mexican in a while, so we're gonna get some Mexican. Yeah. Score. The house margaritas, two ninety nine. Huh? <laughs> Good deal. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with the water. <laughs> Wake up early in the morning and hit it. We got three hours tomorrow and we're headed up to uh, Kennessee Lakes. I really feel like, like we've stayed hooked up before overnight. Yeah. And, and the incline was not enough to affect the bed. Like I didn't roll over onto yeah. you. Tonight, I'm not so sure I can control that. <laughs> I don't mind if you roll over on me. I'm going to mind if I can't stay on my side of the bed. Yeah, it is a little more because we are parked on a hill and we're still hooked up to the yeah. truck. So it's definitely an incline. The front cap of the RV is definitely higher. I have to test it when the slide comes out. Lay on there, see if I slide. Yeah, not much we can really do about it, though. I know. <laughs> Unless you sleep the other way on the bed. Sleep it's sideways. Sleep. Yes. <laughs> we sleep with our heads up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, that'd be funny. Well, how'd you sleep? Better than I thought. I actually slept pretty good. My uh, my headband yeah. with the speakers in it was not fully charged. No, it died. So it only got me so far through the night. Dang. But it was okay. That's good. We've had worse. I didn't even use my headphones or my uh, earplugs. No? Uh-uh. I was fine. Woke up a couple times, but not bad. Oh, good. I was kind of hoping with the slope that you'd roll over onto me. I know you did. <laughs> it, 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 you definitely could feel the pull. Yeah. You could feel the pull. But the good news is we didn't get kicked out. Oh. Nobody knocked on the door. Oh. Everything's good. Yeah. I just got to, uh, I got to go outside now and do a little recon to make sure we have enough room to get out of here. Yeah. If we don't. A lot of cars for early morning. Yeah. And if, if there's not enough room to spin it around, I got to walk around to the back of the Walmart to see if I can drive completely around the whole yeah. store. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go recon a way out of here. A little, a little brisk out this morning. About 60 degrees. Still wearing shorts though because it's supposed to get up to about 80 degrees this afternoon. I don't want to get there and be like totally dying. Okay, looks like I could probably spin it around right here. We'll go around that way and then back out that way. And then back out. Let me walk over here. So zigzagging through that parking lot looks like it'd be a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna walk behind the store, past the automotive, around the corner, around the whole back of the store, and see if that is a clear shot for us to go completely around the store and then back out the other side. But I want to walk it first. I don't want to make this turn back here with the RV and there be an obstruction. You can't get through, and then I gotta back this thing out of here. So well, coming around the other corner, man, I wish I'd have known this was back here. This is behind. This is behind Walmart. But if we come this way, if we had come this way last night, we could have come this way and just kind of pulled around this little semicircle. We could have parked right there and slept like right there last night. You can't hear any road noise from here. And it's behind the store. It would have been perfect. But you don't know what you don't know, I guess, huh? But it looks like there's plenty of clearance to get around the, the entire building. I'm just going to walk up and make sure that I will have a good escape route from up there. And I think this is going to be our our escape hatch, but um, and of course I'm recording. So what are they doing? They're mowing. But well, what'd you think? First Walmart stop. Wasn't bad. Last Walmart stop. Probably. Yeah, I unless, agree. Unless we're in dire need. Yeah, I didn't I'm like it. Gonna, I'm not going to plan one. I wasn't a fan. But you got to do it once. Yeah. Yeah, if, once is fine. You know, online we uh. When we said we were coming to Kennedy Lake, Thousand Trails, some people said this is their favorite, their favorite place, but they must have got a better spot than we did. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, we got this travel trailer here. I don't think anybody's in there. I haven't seen anybody. And then we got um, a neighbor over here. It, but you, you got good gravel here, and uh, I don't think I have a spot to play cornhole. Uh, I might be able to make it work here. I don't know. But that's not a big deal. There's no tournaments close by, so I won't be shooting any tournaments while we're here anyway. But I do need to practice a little bit. What do you think, buddy? Your new spot? 
Go to the Walmart? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.